Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jessica, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I kicked my foot on something immediately. Um, but anywho, we are going to be getting into a little bit of Robin Slater's Rags to Riches today. Um, they have little Stevie Slater, who was just born in the last part, and she's actually crying. So we're going to go ahead and press play, and I have Elliot, who is gonna come upstairs, he's going to change the dirty diaper, do some bottle feeding, do some cuddling maybe, um, and then, I don't know, we'll let him eat after that. Robin was trying to sleep, um, but I think the kid woke her up and then she just chose not to, to do anything about it, which is not, you know, not in the best character. Um, I think maybe we should have her serve up something easy for breakfast. Let's do the pancakes. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, Elliot yeah, being a I good know. dad. Yes, right. Oh, negative oh, Nancy's Baloo. here. What happened? Baloo, Baloo. Oh. Oh. I, I don't know what happened. Baloo. I'm not sure what we did wrong Scabado. there. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're happy now. Anywho, he needs to go potty. They um, probably need to do a little bit of making money. I did get a dumpster on the lot off over here. I put it next to uh, that little greenhouse. Um, I kind of want for him to come down actually and uh, just do some super selling. Oh, he can't. Okay. Um, let's have him sell all in there and then maybe like sell all over here um i think we should probably harvest i just don't know what is this a rose yeah i want more roses we have some spliced dragon fruit and stuff like that i don't know what is wrong why my dragon fruits don't actually show up as dragon fruits i think i just do it wrong somehow i'm not really sure how <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, well, at least he's going to get his skill up. And we are still in a tiny home. It is a tier three, so it's it's the, the last, the largest tiny home possible. All right, well, let's let her go to sleep now that she has helped out with some cooking. And our dude will actually be able to, to get a bite to eat whenever I suppose he's done with this. Oh, God, I feel bad. Oh, I just set him up for failure because he is a hungry dude currently. Um, so the dumpster is actually the only trash can on their lot. Um, I kind of, I don't know, I just thought that that would help him or help them with being able to dive for some deals and not having trash all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. Made sense to me. So we just have a dumpster on the lot. Um... I might let him eat because I feel quite bad. Yeah, I feel quite bad. Yeah, look, he is all slumped over. Oh, is he tired too? Oh, I, he is. He is tired and he's hungry. Okay, well, he did some sewing, some working on his gardening skill. This is supposed to be an automatic um, cat litter box cleaner thingy. Automa automatic box? There we go. I don't know. Stumbling over my words per use. Look at him eating outside. Because there is a table inside. He just chose to come out here. The cat just hanging out. Okay, my friends, there is going to be a definite cut of some sort of variety here um, because I actually um, am kind of re, not re-recording, um, I guess I'm, I'm just recording more because part of my footage that I had recorded um, corrupted the audio just completely separated. I mean, bad. It was not, not good. It's not cute. Um, 
So anyways, we are here now. Um, it is basically Stevie's birthday. Little Stevie is about to age up into a toddler. Um, we didn't really do a whole lot. We had a very unsuccessful yard sale where um, I sold a bunch of stuff that just like wasn't worth that much money. Um, Elliot did some parenting. He is not even sleeping appropriately right now. We need to probably get them a better bed, I would imagine, or she needs to get her handiness skill up so that she can <clears throat> fix their bed up. Where is her handiness? It's at four, so you know, not bad. Um, something that I was kind of thinking about doing um, is maybe putting their lifespans kind of on long. Um, I, I don't know about that, actually. I say that. I just... I want to like max out some skills and stuff with them and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at with this. I've always been intrigued by the idea of doing a super sim challenge and I'm not trying to say that that's where we're at um, with like Robin and Elliot um, but I just kind of want to keep them around. I want to make them do as much as we can while we have them. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where that leads. But just have our girl out here doing a little painting. Figured oh. why not get her to do a little bit uh -huh. of painting. Oh. <clears throat> she has a pretty decent painting skill. Uh -huh. um, the cats are just running around playing. Quite adorable. I'm not sure if they need food. They're meowing quite a bit. Okay, she actually is level 8 paint painting skill. Um, no, they seem to have food just fine. Oh, the babe is awake now. Alright, Elliot, come over and bottle feed the babe real quick. We're gonna need to get <clears throat> uh, kind of a toddler set up. And it just needs some things, you know? We're gonna need some things. Why does this look like it was struck by lightning or something? It must have been. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, fun stuff, you guys. I, uh, <clears throat> I thought maybe I was losing my mind and I couldn't explain to myself, um, like why the footage was being so weird, but I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm going to go with the, the audio, the footage itself just corrupted. I don't have any other explanation for it at this point. Hmm. Robin just completed a masterpiece. Okay, well she is exhausted, he is exhausted, the baby is awake. I mean, it's just, it's kind of rough out here. He's trying to go downstairs. Is this set? It is set on cooler, okay. Honestly, dude, you can... <laughs> I don't know what I want for him. I want for him to feel like he can accomplish everything. I suppose if reading a book while you're dead tired is everything you want to accomplish, then we're there. Okay, right now the baby is not crying. They're getting a little sleep in. Oh, and the babe just went to sleep as well. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. The babe is awake. Needs a good bottle feed and a good rock and just, just cuddle me, ma. Cuddle me, ma. Um, Elliot, my dude, we could probably just have you come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Is the cat, okay, I don't know. I thought I saw the cat glitching out a little bit, but we seem to be looking okay now. We'll see. Um, yeah, come sell all. This is basically what we did in the last part was do a bunch of selling. I planted out here. I did plant some extra grapes. 
Um, we did also have a dragon fruit. Yeah, I actually found out that one of our spliced guys over here, because I think, no, there's two of them actually. Two of them are the um, Snapdragon spliced onto a strawberry bush. Um, so they're supposed to give you dragon fruit like seeds. I, I don't really know. That's how you get dragon fruit. And so we have a dragon fruit plant coming on up in the world. Now I just need to successfully do that in all of my gardens. <laughs> In all of my gardens. Um, I think that we should probably just let the babe age up on her own. And I say that because I just don't know that we're quite ready for Stevie. Um, we don't have a bed for her. And I kind of have to figure out exactly how we're going to weasel her in here. Um, Go ahead and like introduce yourself to Nancy Langrab um, nicely. Um, no, Popsy, we need you to come up here and change the dirty butt. Cuddle, maybe make some silly faces. Yes, wonderful. Oh, please take your food. Okay. It's like, come on. Oh, Hey you guys, I am a bit sneaky and I did something off camera just now. Um, she is introducing herself to Nancy Landgrab so that she can get some of those influence points. But I renovated the downstairs to make room for a certain little toddler and to kind of have a bit more of a family home here. So we are using 100 of 100 tiles at this point and uh, yeah, we can't make it any bigger, but we have like a little kitchen now um, and a whole little kitchen. And this is the living room area at this point. I put the um, the playhouse, the dollhouse downstairs, um, which I know I'm gonna be having to teleport Stevie quite a bit. Um, the bathroom, um, I guess upstairs is actually a bit better to show you. So that's the bathroom for the, like the makeover I give to the bathroom. I did the new tile and like just new wallpaper tile as well in both up and downstairs. They match. Um, we also have like just kind of the toddler setup coming along so that Stevie is ready to age up. Um, did it, Elliot? <laughs> Um, but I went ahead and I just made sure like the essential essential items so we have a blurpy, we have a toddler potty, we have uh, the blocks, and uh, that little guy right there, super ne necessity, super super essential. Um, hi Nancy, welcome to my house. Um, I meant to move that stuff around a bit better, that's my bad, um, that's not like accessible now. Way to go, Jessica. Real good job. <laughs> okay, you were like standing inside of him. That is a bit awkward. Um, I do say though, I do reckon it be time to age up Miss Stevie. Um, I'm really excited about it. So let's do it. Are you stuck back there? No, okay. Yeah, because I moved the poof thing that was downstairs as our couch. Um, the poof came upstairs. I sold one of the poofs. Spent basically all of their money as I typically do. Fussy. Okay, look, here's here's how this is gonna go. She's gonna be independent. If you're familiar with my channel, I'm doing the 100 baby challenge and I'm doing a legacy challenge. I have so many babies that this one will be independent, by golly. Okay, let's go back into build mode really quick just for a second. I want to sell the bassinet. I want to fix the issue um, that I created out here with the slide because I just wanted it to be a bit more, um, how, how can we work this? Maybe like that. 
How much room is that? Like a half tile? Yeah, that's good. They can get into a bed on a half tile, so that should be plenty. Um, let's just kind of move this out here, maybe. That might make a bit more sense out there. Um, and then maybe the easel can come over here next to the woodworking table. It's kind of hard to see underneath this awning thing, but I like it, so we're keeping it. And then I just want like smack dab in the middle there. Just put that slide there. I just want the shade and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I know we'll be having to teleport um, Stevie like up and down the stairs quite a bit. But it is what it is. Oh my gosh, I keep grabbing that. I don't want the rug. I want the blocks. There we go. Okay. Um... replace the blocks there okay I think I think I'm happy with that with, with all that um, I put the half wall up as well by the ladder just because I wanted to kind of define that uh, nook with the computer a bit better anyways um, I still don't quite understand why our cat is upset but this is little Miss Stevie. Um, let's get into free camera here. Can you get a zoom in on her? She got her mama's curly hair. Can't really tell if she looks like her mom or her dad at this point. I like to wait um, until they're a bit older to like get really excited about their looks. Um, but yeah, this way, independent, oh, thank goodness we can just make her potty train herself and just focus on your skills a bit, my dear. Just do that for me. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, look how nice. I love the kitchen area. I think it, honestly, like, I think it looks so good. So excited about it. Okay, anyways, um... Come on, give me something here. Nothing, all right, well, maybe we just need to have him paint. He needs to have fun anyways. Yeah, you come on outside and just do a big old impressionism painting. They look um, very happy with their new like living room setup and such. Robin is immediately posted up just watching TV. Um, I really like, I like this idea of cutting off that corner because I was a little confused with how to utilize that corner best anyways. And, uh, that really helped me kind of bring it full circle to what I was trying to do here. So <laughs> I am happy with it. You guys, I'm very happy with their tiny little house. And I think that the more I think about moving, um, we might just move their entire house to a different lot. I know that that's not super realistic, but it's The Sims, we have the capability to do that, and that's just kind of where I'm at. I really like their house, and I want for different uh, collectibles and stuff like that to be in our reach. Um, I have also kind of dabbled with the idea of like opening up a retail space that could be like an art gallery, um, but uh -huh. in cells I can't ever Salvadorado every I always think of that movie that Disney movie El Salv so now I can't even like um El Salvador now I don't even know what that is the two of them have made like a word baby in my head and I don't know the sims from the Disney movie and it might not even be self so Salvadorado no that's the See, I don't know. I'm done with this. I'm done with this conversation. I'm gonna embarrass myself because um, I know every single time I try to say that, I stumble over my words. Oh, and of course, I got them a new bed. I completely skipped over that. Um, I just I hate it whenever the Sims are always so grumpy, tired, um, because they're like unhappy with their bed. I just want them to be happy with their bed. You know, is the painting not fun for you? 
Like, what is fun for you, bud? Do you... Don't talk to your kid. Come over here and do some fishing, maybe? Is that fun? Is fishing fun for Sims? Do, do they find that fun? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so done right now. This toddler is using the diaper instead of going to the bathroom. Oh, I'm I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I just just come and babble a whole bunch. Just babble as much as you can. And then you might want to work on stacking because at some point I'm going to make you go down the slide like a big kid and you're going to get real mad about it. I think that Elliot is real cute with his makeover. I'm really happy with it. Just uh, kept it very simple. I think that I'm very predictable in the way that I do male sims. I'm going to use these mm. tennis shoes nine times out of ten. And um, yeah, honestly, that look, you can find that look on any of my male sims. <laughs> Oh, poor Elliot. He was doomed from the start. Robin, where is your sleep at? How much better is your sleep? She seems to be getting like much better sleep. So that's very nice. I like that. I enjoy when my Sims get sleep and they're not grumpy to start the day so that we can do things. Okay, I want for her to come and work on her handiness skill a bit more. Come and do a mirror, my friend. Oh, now he's just tired. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. We can probably just let you come and go to sleep. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't aside, I, I, did, I didn't assign sides of the bed to our sims here okay well i think we worked that out and now our girl is out here oh and i got them a punching bag right here i wanted for her to be able to and for him to be able to kind of work on their fitness if they want to have that option because we didn't have any option for the fitness skill um on the lot so i just thought might as well she had a kid naturally women start you know worrying about their health and stuff like that uh when you have someone else to, to think about in your life hmm. real talk though Shwady. thanks for coming to Lenore. my TikTok. talk okay so we got a whole bunch of babbling in and still <laughs> used our diaper Never gonna forget that. So mad about it. Oh, he just now acquired the potty skill. He must not have went earlier whenever I told him to. Because I could have sworn I told him to. Okay. Interesting. Where did the, the pad go? Did he still... She. Oh my goodness. Did she still put the iPad in her inventory even though there's a table? right there okay we'll play sim safe sim shape sim shape oh, nice. <laughs> <sighs> like my inner andy sandberg just came out there um oh poor girl Um, let's have her come out here and dive for some deals. That is the only trash can that we have on the lot. So realistically, they should be throwing all their trash away out here. I don't know actually if she has like dirty dishes in her inventory. Okay, we wanted to breed some frogs though. Breed this rail frog with uh, this real frog. Do that. Um, it doesn't appear like we have any dirty dishes in her inventory, so that's good. We'll just let her keep kind of diving for some deals there. I don't know why
why his fun is so low. Like, honestly, bud. Um, I guess we could let him come and play some video games. <laughs> Assuming that they can get to this computer. <laughs> yeah, he can get to it. Okay. Okay. Nicely done, oh. mate. <laughs> Chubb, I do. Just, I guess let her keep diving for some deals. Kind of going to, I don't, like, I, I really don't want to have any of the, like, fabrication uh, focus or anything like that in this Let's Play, but I do want to implement, like, recycling because I think that that is more of a lifestyle choice as opposed to a Let's Play choice. You with me there? feel like you guys are probably with me there. Um, come in. No, no. Come in, Supercell. I know that you're stinky. I'm sorry. Um, oh, man. I forgot we have to, like, feed this, this child. Okay, do we have anything in the inventory? We do. Okay. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do is cancel cancel all that get up for me stand on up teleport your little toddle a booty down here and here we go this way we'll work on imagination skills here eat this faux blt We'll work on imagination skill and the movement skill a little bit while we have Stevie downstairs. And she's getting her shower in. Um, oh, he needs to go to the restroom. So we'll let him do that. Their bathrooms are so tiny, honestly. Um, at this point, if we need a bathtub on the lot, like I'm sure we will. We will probably have to just put a bathtub out here as if it were like a gardening bathtub. We can make it a fancy one. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Just sounds horrible. Um, where is this dragon fruit coming along? Water everything! Oh, I'm so ready for the gardener to be here. We don't need to get into that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Just need the gardener. Like, straight up. That's all we need. Okay, and then I think we'll have Elliot come over, fill all the pet bowls. Um, come over, serve up some eggs and toast, and then you may go to sleep, mister. And Stevie, my dearest, come climb on up here a couple times, maybe? I don't want to completely scare you. Okay, so we got a little bit of stuff harvested there. Do we need anything up here? No, it just everything needs to be watered. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think it is probably a good spot to go ahead and uh, cut it right here. Um, I think we did did some good stuff here. We extended their home a little bit, spent all their money. Um, their lot is probably worth like around $40,000. I don't really have like a whole end goal for this. Like I said, I'm just kind of interested in trying to do some of the, the weird things um, aside from like what the not so berry challenge has you do. So anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!